So this is not a joke or a hyperbole. I was actually thinking of designing my own CAD software, contemplating the idea at least. And I started with this obvious question. What is it that none of the software on the market have and that would be really valuable and useful for the future? What can simplify and automate our work to the degree that is needed and possible today? What is it that other software is missing? What are the problems that need solving? And I came up with three basic elements that the perfect software should have. And spoiler alert, there might be one like that, as you will see later in the video. This magical software has to have a DNA-like structure that describes the object. Every design should be parametrically defined from its core. A whole skyscraper with all its offices and toilets and chairs and power sockets and bolts and welds and the beams, everything should be parametrically defined and generated from a single point. A human driven by DNA is born from a single cell, a zygote. A building can be born from a single point driven by its own DNA. And we can adjust the DNA how we want. Tweak it, expand it, edit it to get what we imagined. And now this comes with a certain fractality and infinite zoomability, let's say, that I will explain in one minute. Second, one big giant mammoth software is not an answer. Every CAD software has been on the market for 20, 30 years and what they do is keep adding commands and settings, expanding indefinitely. A documentation for a single software like, I don't know, 3D Studio Max, for example, is growing substantially every year. And for every setting, there are five new ones coming in the following year. So my reason told me that we need some kind of division into apps, for the lack of, lack of a better term, so that we can work on the same object using different tools. And I'm not talking about simple division that you could do into menus and toolbars. No, I'm talking about different apps, different software with different user interfaces adjusted for a single purpose. One for rendering, one for sunlight calculation, one for structure, etc. But all somehow united with a single model. And third, we cannot sit in a single office anymore. It is outdated. People need freedom. If they want, they should sit on a beach in Thailand or in the mountains of Norway but they should be able to work together, cooperate seamlessly online. So an, on, so an online platform that enables this is a must. That would be the third and the most important factor. Architecture is a very conservative profession, although it might not look like that from the outside. And it is still the one where a home office is almost impossible and remote working extremely rare. And I do not see the reason why that should be the case. But most importantly, an online platform has to enable back-end computing or cloud computing. That means that you do not need expensive hardware anymore. You click on a generate facade button on your simple tablet. That command goes to a very strong processor on the cloud over the internet. The calculations are done in milliseconds and your file is updated. Wouldn't that be neat? So I was surprised to realize that a software that almost perfectly fits to my conditions already exists and that I was aware of it for years, but never really got to know it so well. And I will tell you at the end of the video what software that is, and the future will show if it is worth it. But first, let me elaborate shortly, shortly on the conditions so you can understand how no software really does what I want and why it is essential and extremely beneficial that we have one that fulfills those conditions. Okay, let's talk about DNA. Imagine a software in which you do not simply draw a line. You do not draw a wall, door or a surface. No, you have to start with an atom of the structure, a single point. And then you maybe add another point. And then you do not draw a line, but you parametrically define a line with its start and end point. In this way, you start building the DNA of your structure. A couple of lines can become a surface, a surface can become a solid. And the moment I change anything in my DNA, everything down the chain changes automatically. In this way, you have a fully parametric model. That means that at any time in your design process, you can zoom into the DNA and tweak whatever you want, however early in the development you want, and the entire model until the, until the last screw will be updated automatically. No more repetitive modeling, no more doing the same thing 50 times. No, everything is connected to everything else. If you move your arm, your shoulder moves, so does your hand and your fingers and your nails. And this is where the fractality comes in. This type of soft software would enable fractal-like design, the infinite, infinite zoomability, as I would call it, infinite scaling. I can define a surface, 
with four lines and say this is my wall. Then I can zoom into this gene and find another tree structure there that takes this surface as an input and then creates layers. Maybe a window with a certain distance from the floor and the ceiling, a door. And then I can zoom into that window and make all the elements depend on its frame and design every profile. And then I can zoom into the profile and change the smallest details, define where which screw comes parametrically. So that when I zoom out and I change the surface of the wall, this influences the position and the size of the windows, this updates the geometry of the window profiles, this updates the position of the screws, it's the arm, the hand, the fingers, the nails, all updated automatically. Isn't that exactly what we want in the age of automation? Now, I could elaborate on the fractality and DNA of design for hours, and we'll expand on the idea in other videos, but since this is an overview of a perfect software, let's get to the next point. Apps. This one is maybe hard to explain, but I will try. Most of us architects are used to working with files or single files. And even though in the past we did separate parts of the building, did structure in one software, facade in another, pipes in the third one and rendering in the fourth, new BIM software like Revit would like us to have an entire model in a single file. And we all know what happens if the building we're designing is large or detailed or both. We need a very strong machine and a lot of patience. Remember the fractality? What if I had an app that's used to design that simple surface for a wall from before, and then I gave you that surface and continued to work on the basic shape of the building? And what if you took that surface and opened it in a different app that has tools to add layers to the wall, define the openings, etc. And while you are working on that, someone would take a window opening as an input and use another app that has the tools to define the smallest profile details. And what if there was an app that would automatically make 2D drawings at the end, so that you do not have to draw a single line by hand. And why do you need different apps? Why can't you pack all that into the same software? Because they really demand a different set of tools and approaches. And so far, whenever we use different software, we try to exchange files between them, and we all know what a headache that is. So what if we could use different software, but work on a single object? Is that possible? Yes, it is, and that single object does not necessarily have to have a form of a file. And here we come to the third condition, working online. The object you are working on should not be even saved on your computer. It should be saved on a cloud for different reasons. First, the whole team can work on a single object, especially with the fractal division that I explained before. Second, you can employ cloud computing, which means that instead of buying a $5,000 or $10,000 graphic card, you could have a $500 laptop and still be able to open and work on a model of a building that has every single detail, every single screw and bolt and reinforcement inside of it. Something that is called a digital twin and that I will discuss in other videos. This is an obvious direction of development. Sony PlayStation 5, Xbox and similar gaming consoles hint at employing cloud gaming soon, which means you won't even need a console or any demanding hardware. It will all be streaming like Netflix. Additionally, the digital twin approach enables architects not to be isolated from the downstream construction processes as they, as they have usually been. They can be involved all throughout the life cycle of the building construction. And what is also important, they can even make the adjustments on the basic shape of the building until the very last moment before the production starts. Because all the translation of the project from 3D to 2D and back, back to 3D disappears. The project is updated and its components ready for fabrication automatically. And you can show everything to the client all the time online in the browser. And on top of all of that, the online collaboration would free you from that annoying guy that leans on your shoulder during that 45-minute commute inside a claustrophobic metal tube. You could work from your garden or someone else's garden or from a neat table in a coffee shop for the price of a simple mochaccino. Remote working is the future. Most of the workforce should and will be a form of freelance and co-working spaces are growing like dandelions all over the world. How is that that we are still stuck into this 9 to 5 or 9 to 7 paradigm working in such a creative field? I am a big proponent of location independent working and I hate that we are all cramping into smaller and smaller spaces in big cities, paying ungodly sums of money for rent or mortgage to live in 50 square meters. And I believe that the possibility of loc location independent work will make people spread around more, enjoy nature, live on the beach in Spain or in some forest in Scotland and still participate in building an airport in Brazil. 
on an online platform with back-end computing and a fractal fully parametric model, we can work remotely on a cheap laptop and we can design a building within a fraction of the time that we need now because there is no repetition and no redundancy. And we can save a ton of time on drafting, specifications, builds of quantities because all of that will be generated automatically at the click of a button. And the best thing about fully parametric building DNA is that we can apply artificial intelligence algorithms on them. If you have a rigid model of a house, you cannot do much with it. In order to build an artificial designer software that generates different designs, proposals, different structures, your model has to be fully describable in a machine readable way. It has to be a string of data or a DNA strand. So is there such a software? Believe it or not, there kind of is. I'm not sure, but I think that Buckminster Fuller pointed out how architects are always years and years behind mechanical and electrical engineers in the sense that they use the same tools years after. I think that yeah, I even heard 50 years somewhere. That might not be exactly true, but it's not far from the truth either. Only in the last 10 years are we employing the robot arms and automated building methods that have been in the machine industry for decades. So one of the software used to build cars and airplanes and ships one of the very first CAD programs and NURBS modelers, CATIA, may be the answer for us. And now it comes in the form of an online platform called 3D Experience, and it has multiple apps used to work on the same model, on the cloud, with cloud computing, and it saves everything in a single tree-like structure, in a form of a DNA. So you can expect a lot more videos of me exploring the software in the future so that we can see if it can stand the test. Until then, Think about the conditions I mentioned. Do you agree with them or not? Do you have something to add or do you think some standard existing software does a good job? Do you like the status quo maybe? Or would you like us to step up and automate everything that can be automated in the building industry? And guess what? Everything kind of can. Subscribe, share, stay free.